Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and I have an idea for the next recording that I do of this game that I just quickly wanted to ask you guys if you guys think you would like it. So, when I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, it gave me a map. I don't really want to take a picture and upload it because my phone's camera always messes up pictures with this editing software so that's how I'll let you know that I'm touching a map so what that's not the right button what I think I could do is I turn off my radar and then I don't ever use this map so it's just I would look at it but only to try to figure out where I would be going, and then I would use the map that I got from ordering the game, and then I would try to find that area that I'm going to. So you guys should let me know if you would be down for that. So let's just do this mission. Hope you enjoy. How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. Lil Column A, Lil Column B. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You know my guy Train isn't job, wrong. Star, but we need more money. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. You know I have binoculars, right? We don't need a sniper rifle. them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. Those are up, boys. There you go. Find sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. We're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. Yes. Awesome. Are we going to go party with Dutch now? Because so far we've partied with 
the other two guys. In absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Well, that Get sounds fun. Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with! By hey, you're a giant you. piggy bank! Get out here! Before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You I got where I am by letting scum like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please. Gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever. Everyone's dead, you can just get- Oh no, you're shot in the leg. Well, you don't need to be screaming for help. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, I better get out of here. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. 
Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne Vorsicht! Hey, Kammer! Three coming right at us! You get dead! Blow away from him! One minute, one loot. Well, that's not how I was expecting to go out. Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. Im Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here! This place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar! Vamos! Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank. Herzlichen Dank. Maybe you could have paid off the bandits with this. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. 
Miss <clears throat> Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Looks like we got another new home. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a bit more of a fight from a legendary coyote. I wasn't even sure if this was a legendary coyote, I just saw the trail going away and I didn't want to lose it, so looks like I got a coyote. I just wanted to sell my stuff. I didn't mean to. No, no. Uh. Okay, well, this is where I'll end this episode of Red Dead Redemption because I've been trying to sell that coyote pelt for like half an hour. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, comment down below how I can make it better. And if you did, like and subscribe. Also follow my Twitter, which is in the description down below, so that I know what you guys want. Also, comment down below if you want me to do that map idea that I said at the beginning. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. At night was born to fight Mythical, so mystical, think what you like